You wanna know what I think the worst thing is that the internet's doing to people right now? It's leading everybody to believe that everybody else is an idiot. Especially people that disagree with them. Everybody's first reaction to somebody that disagrees with them is like, oh, you're an idiot. It's like, actually, the vast majority of people aren't idiots. They just either are coming from a different background, have a different belief system, have different reasons, have different, like, it's a whole variety of things. Assuming that somebody else is an idiot, especially when they're professional in their field, is like the worst mistake one person can make. And if everybody stopped just immediately claiming everybody else is an idiot, I think the world would be a better place. We are honored uh, today to be in the office uh, here in Moscow with General Alexei Leonov. General, thank you very much for spending the time with us today. 2015 represents two of the most important anniversaries in human spaceflight history. They both involve you. The 50th anniversary of man's first spacewalk and the 40th anniversary of Apollo Soyuz. Uh, it's hard to believe that this much time has passed, but looking back at that time, what, uh, what did those days mean to you personally, and uh, are the memories of those accomplishments as significant today as they were when you lived through those 50 years ago and 40 years ago? Uh, uh, let me start with some uh, events that took place prior to that. How did I happen to have become a part of this goal, of this task? Very recently, in the minutes of one of the meetings, we have found the following statement. And this takes us back to Mr. Korolev running one of the meetings where they were supposed to shape up the actual uh, first EVA session that I was supposed to be a part of and what he said about me. I would like to outline the most important feature of Mr. Dionov, and this is his wit, his uh, ability to quickly act, his ability to guess correctly, his ability to accept technical materials, excellent character, he is an artist, he is a very sociable person, he is a very kind and hospitable person. He is a very courageous, courageous fighter pilot. He has enough knowledge and ability to operate a variety of different uh, aircraft. And I think that this person uh, strongly deserves our attention. That's what Mr. Korolev told about me, which I never knew. And these words determined my fate, determined my destiny. And then the issue came up as to who is going to be the first one to go EVA. He said, we do have a candidate. This year, I visited Mr. Korolev's daughter. And she let me listen to a recording on the first press conference. Which It's time to vote. Eric, you're up. <laughs> setting or circumstance, you might be having famous fun. I wish the best of luck. I'm voting for Derek Zoolander. Oh, I need to take No, sorry. Tally the votes. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Ashley. Dave. 
One vote Ashley, one vote Dave. Ashley, two votes Ashley, one vote Dave. Ashley, three votes Ashley, one vote Dave. Second person voted out of Survivor China. Ashley, that's four, that's enough. Need to bring me your torch. After you, soon. Ashley, the tribe has spoken. Time to go. We're with Ashley Mazzaro here at the Legends of Wrestling Fan Fest, the Diva Search winner. Um, what are you up to these days? Uh, I do a lot of these cons. It's great. I get to see the fans. and I've seen like, a lot of people that I recognize, which is pretty cool. And I get to see my friends in wrestling, so it's fun. <laughs> are you still wrestling? No, I'm not wrestling, but I do do indie shows. I guess rap, I ballet, I'm still doing that stuff. <laughs> what was your uh, highlight of your wrestling career in WWE? question before and I feel like it's my answer is kind of like weird but I feel like my my biggest moment for me was my Wrestlemania entrance I know it's just an entrance but just having made it to Wrestlemania was so mind-blowing I was just like I can't believe I'm here and I can't believe this is happening so that was like probably the biggest moment for me like wrestling wise and you were in it just before the women's movement kind of exploded like it is now yeah. Yes, yes. Um, what do you right. think about uh, what's it's happening? It's incredible what they're doing with the women these days. I, I couldn't be more proud. It's amazing to watch them. Do you have any favorites? Um, I do, but I can, I'm not going to say. <laughs> All right. And are you still modeling? Yeah, actually I am. I work with uh, Paul Heyman and the HeymanHustle.com. And uh, we've done a couple shoots, shoots together over the summer last week, last summer. And, uh, they just came out on his website, so you can check him out at HeymanHustle.com. And whereabouts do you live these days? I'm living in Long Island. So Long Island, New York, okay. Yeah. Not too far away then. Yep. And can people follow you on social media if they want to look yes, you up? Yes, absolutely. I can be reached at Instagram at Ashley Masaro 2013, and I can be reached on Twitter at Ashley Masaro 11. So hit me up. I usually am very interactive with my fans, so I'll see you there. And to close this off, you're still in excellent shape. Is there any way you can like strike a pose for us? Oh, thanks. Strike a pose like a, like a bodybuilder pose? Yeah. <laughs> So after we take the mug shots, we bring them on down here where they wait to be interviewed by the arresting officers. Trust me, kids, you do not want to be sitting on these benches. We call this place Loserville. Lemon grab, you okay? Finn, don't mess me up. Hi, Finn. You're Matthew, huh? Your rep precedes you, bro. Proceeds? What kind of rep? Some stuff Jake said that I interpreted as negative. Well, ask yourself if that feels right. What do you say, guy? The meat bodies who've journeyed to this mountain have distilled themselves to their original source materials and now exist in oneness. Oneness? That's you, bro? I keep adding to myself until the second age of terror, when I will emerge in my final form and restore the world. I'm healthy. I don't eat at McDonald's. I use the drive-thru. <laughs> yes, because the tables are dirty. I don't want the person at the counter touching my food. I want the guy in the little booth making it. I know my McDonald's. I know where I go. I've seen the staff. I'll stick to the drive-thru. 
I'm intelligent. I wash my face with smart water. I bathe in smart water. I was baptized as I spit again at my bar mitzvah with smart water. This is my life. I've got color headshots, 11 by 17. I stand out in a pile. I just got a call back, thank you very much, to be an extra in a stadium scene. Yes, getting chicks, hooking up, believing in it, doing that, driving to Palm Springs tomorrow to see my mother. If you're down in Palm Springs tomorrow, let's hang out while she takes a nap. <laughs> She'll take a two hour nap. I comb her hair while she sleeps. I make money. It's a good feeling to be able to take my mother out to lunch and pay half. I can do that. That's enough, you two. If it wasn't for my web shoot, some innocent people might have been hurt. You worked so hard for this day, Herman. I can't believe you're turning against me. Stop with the act! You know you turned on me first! That caused an electrical fire in the biology lab! Stop! Don't hit the alarm! He'll manipulate the sound! I'll show you the true power of sound! Clayton, I'm not against you! Then you shouldn't have attacked me! Boosting beyond capacity! Uh oh He's about to unleash a sound bomb! And for the record, I plan on using a web fan to create a wind cushion! Or a net! Just create a net! Oh, right! Okay, bring it on! Everyone nice and stucky? So this spider kid is auditioning too, huh? Then I need a bigger arena to show off the full extent of my work. And may the best student... Oh. Oh. That was awesome! Oh my god, the ball sticking out! God! <laughs> Very good! That's it, buddy. Okay, throw the rock. Throw it at the lake. Just do something. What's up, Dad? Yeah, Charlotte's out of school, huh? Hey, check out Becky's. May I borrow this? I can't touch you. Thank you. Darn it. You want to try? Sure. But I stink at sports. That's right here. Throw it and let the rock do the magic. No! You did it! You did it! Me that. Now watch me. <gasps> oh! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, baby, are you okay? <gasps> Guys! Look! Now listen up, dear students. It's so elementary. And you'll find me at the public library. You see me at the mall. Thing, sweetheart. Greg, I'm gonna need a bat! Daddy, no! Okay, come on. Come on. He's right here. He's eating Bowser's food. Stay, stay. Yeah. Move your doll towards me. And back to you. Three times fast. Give me that thing. Put my hand. Okay. Over there. Ah! Ah! Come on. I have the best last day of school, my 
gorgeous children. I love you all. Um, uh, in school, Greg, a chance to ask out Nancy Arbuckle. Nancy Arbuckle? What's that? You like a girl? How have you been taking them long showers? No, I, I'm, I'm conditioning my hair. That's all I do in the shower. Condition my hair. That deer's a liar. I heard too much conditioning can be... Oh, I should kill him. He's too chicken to ask her out, Dad, because she's the hottest girl in school. And Greg is fugly. So what? He's fugly. All the guys in our family are fugly. That don't stop us from getting the hot chicks. Every guy in school likes her, Dad. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And Keithy's right. I'm too chicken to even talk to her. By the way, Dad, did you ask Mom if I can play football? Nobody here. Play in the car, Chich. Frankie. It's okay, Chich. What's this, Rizzo? It's a lucky casino for our new deal. Richie, give us a pass, huh? Yes. We're all real happy about your decision, Frankie. You're not going to regret it. I don't like the C note, Rosado. I take that as an insult. Michael Corcoran, ah! says hello. Ah! 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 And what was the role you played in Godfather Part Two? Uh, Tony Rosado. Yeah. And uh, there was an interesting aspect to that because I, I check the internet now and there's one question that's raised by everyone on the internet. Was the line that Danny Aiello said in Godfather 2 an improvised line? Well, let me say, the line that they're talking about is uh, Michael Corleone says hello. Now, Frank Piantangeli, who was played by Gazzo, Michael Gazzo, was sitting at a bar. I walk behind him. I come, I put a garage around his neck, and I say, Michael Corleone says hello, and I drag him into a phone booth. I fail to kill him. Yeah. In any event, we're rehearsing the scene. It's an Italian restaurant, Mulberry Street. Francis is there. I was somewhat intimidated. Francis put a couple of the directors. Yes, Francis, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I was so intimidated by the man, knowing the things that he had done, and here I am, a neophyte actor. Now, the line, there was no line there. When I was coming to behind him with the grot to choke him, there was no line whatsoever. So he said, let's rehearse action. So I come behind him, and I suddenly said, Michael Colleone says hello. I had no idea why I said it, but I said, he said, God, what'd you say? I thought I was in trouble with the director. I don't know what the hell I said. Well, I, uh, I, uh, well, Mr. Cavallo, I think, I think I said, uh, I think I said, Michael Corleone says hello. He said, good, keep it in. Mm. It was an improvised line, and it, yeah. uh, there's a history behind it, and people are asking questions about it. I didn't think it was that interesting. Hello, Styles Pizza. Yep. Meatball Hero, Eggplant Parmesan, we got it. Yeah. Yeah, we deliver. Of course we deliver. All right. Where is that? One, two, three, you're going to pay now, you're going to pay on layaway. Yeah, we know where that is. How much? Been here 30 years. You've been coming in here at least three times a day. What are you, a retard? It's a dollar fifty. Yo, stop. Put some cheese in that motherfucker, man. Extra cheese is two dollars. Two dollars? Yeah, two dollars. Hey, you can forget that shit. Damn, say you cheap, man. Sal, right? Hey, hey, Sal, how come we got no brothers up on the wall here? You want brothers on the wall? Get your own place. You can do what you want to do. You can put your brothers and uncles and nieces and nephews, your stepfather, stepmother, whoever you want, you see? But this is my pizzeria. American Italians on the wall only. Take it easy, man. Huh? And you, hey, don't stop me today. What? 
Yeah, that might be fine, Sal, but uh, you, you own this. Rarely do I see any American Italians eating in here. All I see is black folks. So since we spend much money here, we do have some set. You looking for trouble? Are you a troublemaker? Is that what you are? You making trouble? Yeah, I'm a troublemaker. I'm making trouble. You're a real ball breaker. Who's coming in here looking for trouble, huh? Suppose I busted your head. How would you? Uh, Mookie. Mookie, you want to get your friend out of here? Well, are you going to kick me out now? Are you, you going to kick me out, huh? No, I'm not kicking you out. You're kicking yourself out. What? Look, we want some brothers up on the wall, you Let's know? Go. Malcolm X, Nelson Mandela, you know, you're Michael Jordan. Tomorrow. Come on, Mookie, get, get him out, all right? I'm trying to get him out. Yeah, I'm paying for this. I know you paid for it. Let's go. Yeah, all right. All right. So you're kicking me out. Well, beat me in the head. You're going to kick me out, right? Come on. Let's yeah, go. Okay, bet. Yeah, all right. Let's yeah, go. look, I paid for my. Look, boycott size. Let's go. Right? Yo, boycott size. I got Yo, your whoops. boycott swing. What did you say to me? I told him, no, I was walking by you. Denzel, we just lost, and you looked over John Killick, our producer, and you said to John Killick, after Denzel got the award and I didn't, that was our best chance. That's what you oh, said. Oh, the Golden Globe. And what did I say to you when I walked by you and we had this. A tremendous amount of people were sitting around. I walked by you and I said, remember, I brought you to the dance. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. But well, here's the thing, though. The fact remains that you made history in that role. You personified Sal. I built this place with my bare hands. <laughs> Every piece of time. Every socket with these hands. That you know what that means? I know. Yeah, I want my money. <laughs> Lo, you, he's right? He's right. He's Lou, Lou said he's right. This is a wild shoe. This is you never had one like that. The Savannah, you didn't say anything. I'm missing uh, you. Oh, uh, you're talking. I don't want to talk to <laughs> But look, let's give it what? to 25 years. Yeah. You're 25 years? 25 years since the movie. That's right. Since we first did the movie. And we both look like kids, don't we? There yeah. you go. Dear. <laughs> Many more. Let me let me go. Let me go. There you go. go. Calling all cartoon connoisseurs. Still holding Mr. Schwarzenegger? Stay on the line. Still there, Mr. Eastwood? Please hold. Look for Animaniacs Volume 1 on DVD. Did you miss us? The next generation of classic animation. Oh, no! It's coming to DVD for the first time ever. How's that for an entrance? Yes, the famous Warner Brothers. And the Warner sister. Yakko, Wacko, and Dot have been released. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Now experience the liberated loonies and their super crazy croonies on a five disc DVD collection filled with 25 hilarious episodes from the hit TV show. I feel so at home here. That no animation aficionado should miss. But wait, there's more. Then prepare for global domination by an unstoppable force. We are two lab mice involved in a broad and sweeping plan to take over the world. Stop. Pinky and the Brain, Volume 1 on DVD. Yes, these ruthless rodents are exposing their mad genius in a devious four-disc collection on DVD. Ergo, instant celebrity. With 22 outlandish episodes from the award-winning TV series. God, my brilliant! Plus, special behind-the-scenes bonus features too powerful to resist. So surrender your sanity with two new collections on DVD. Now it's time for the hard set. Hello, this is Gordon Bressack, and I'd like to tell you about an exciting new video coming soon to YouTube. It's called Keeper, and it is scary, and it's intense, and it's hilarious. How can it be all of those things? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. Coming soon to YouTube near you, Keeper. Thinking about the good old days? 
I'm not gonna tell you again, Wizard Mon. Don't read my thoughts without my permission. I'm sorry, Gatomon. Please forgive me. And shouldn't you be out looking for the eighth digidestined human? Yes, I'll get right on it. <laughs> Still, no reaction from the crest. It's reacting. I wonder what's causing it. The Digivice! Thunderball! Hey, Wizard Mon! What you doing over there? Uh, nothing. It's hard to believe you came all the way out here to do nothing. Come on, tell me what you found. All right, but if I show you, you have to promise not to tell anyone. Come on, show me! All right, it's a bottle of green chili sauce. It's great on tacos. What are you doing eating on the job when there's work to be done? You should be looking for the eight digit destined child like the others. Please don't tell Lord Myotis, Mon. Why don't you get rid of this fork? All right, boy, you know what I hope? I hope that the all night drive through is still open. There's no way I'm handing this over to Demi Devimon. He'll take all the credit for himself. But wait, if the Digivice is here, where is the eighth child hiding? Wizard Mon, what is it now? Go away before I use you as my scratching post. Sorry to disturb you again, Gatamon, but... But what? <laughs> the Digivice, where'd you get it? I found it in a crow's nest in the Iraqi woods. Then the eighth Digidestin must be somewhere near there. No, the eighth child is... Tell me right now. Well, you see, Gatamon... What? I wonder if the location of the child is in somewhere inside your own heart. What are you saying? I believe that long ago, you buried away an important part of yourself. And somewhere deep inside your heart lies the key to the identity of the eighth Digidestined child. Try to remember. Mm. What's holding you back? Could it be you're afraid of what you might find? You can get your lost memories back, Gatoman. You can remember your past without fear. End your long nightmare and try to remember. Just leave me alone. Who sent you here, my Otis Mon? My Otis Mon has nothing to do with this. I fight by your side, not his. I tell you these things now because you are my friend. Before I met you, I was always alone. I was constantly traveling, never stopping to make any friends. Then one day, I fell from the sky and crashed. But no one stopped to help me. I thought I was a goner until you came. Here, drink this. Oh. Looks like he passed out. Mm. Ah, you're awake. Huh? Did you save me? I didn't do that much. I just couldn't leave you lying there. Well, thanks. I guess I'll be going now. Don't be silly. You're not strong enough to go. I know you helped me, but I don't have anything for you. I don't want anything, but you must be very lonely to say that. What do you mean? When you've been alone for a long time, your heart becomes very hard. It happens to everyone, you know, even me. I don't remember any of that. Well, that's how it happened. I thought you saved me because you wanted something in return. I couldn't understand the concept of compassion because loneliness had hardened my heart. But you taught me that all creatures have good inside of them. That's when you told me your secret. My whole life, I just keep waiting and searching, but... I never find her. Find who? Who are you waiting and searching for? I can't remember. It was too long ago. All I know is I'm waiting for someone. Waiting? Me? That's what you told me. Why can't I remember who I was waiting for? Who could it possibly be? Huh? Miko! <sighs> Where do you think you're going? You can't come out here at this hour. Go back inside. Good kitty. Hmm. I think perhaps your search is finally over. Huh? <gasps> Who are you? Wizard Mom. How are you able to fly like that? Oh, <laughs> well... <laughs> oh, it's you. Hello again. You're Agumon's friend, aren't you? How come you ran away last time I saw you? Uh, uh... What's that thing? Can I see it? <gasps> Wizard Mom, tell me, is this girl the eighth Digidestin? Yes. Well, then who is her Digimon? I think you know.
back up to level two where it's warm. There ain't a warm spot in this whole dump. Besides, you got the next four hours of work detail, pal. We gotta carve out the rest of this fucking hole. If you ask me, we should all be flying out of here when that relief crew shows up, not just that friggin' Schneider. At least we didn't pull topside duty like Carl and Lipsky did. Keeping a ground crew on that helipad in this snowstorm is just plain stupid. Yeah, we're flying and it seems stupid. Hey, Munson. Munson. Am I correct in thinking that some of the decisions being made around here by the top brass lately has been pretty boneheaded? Do me a favor. Don't get me involved. Yeah, just do your goddamn job, Lenny. Move some of this shit out of the way so we can walk through here. Shaker. Are you guys still down here? Funny. I don't screw around with you guys on your shift. thing I have feared most has happened. Lord Zed has returned. Who's Lord Zed? Rita and her minions, Lord and Master. You mean there's somebody worse than Rita? I'm afraid so. Lord Zed has been ruling over darker places within another galaxy. Eons ago, he left Rita in charge to carry out his orders. Since she has failed to do so... He's come back to finish the job. 
Will we be able to defeat him, Zordon? I do not know, Rangers. I'm afraid your Zords may not be powerful enough to defeat Lord Zed's magic. Lord Zed's power is unmatched by anything we've ever seen before. There will be no more Afritas and Theria monsters. I will create one of my own to be reckoned with. Their own weapon will be their undoing when my monster turns the Tyrannosaurus against the Rangers! 